Welcome to Silver Heist, folks. Welcome to the live stream. How's everyone tonight? Can you hear me? Can you see the screen? And we're going live. Excellent. I think we're actually right side up tonight. Let me turn off my speaker because I'm echoing. Here we go. Awesome. Cool. Well, welcome, folks. Good to see you this evening. Uh, Michael is not hearing me or is can hear me. He can hear me. Great. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. So welcome to the chat, folks. We've got Michael I in the house. Don't ask is here. Silver Steeler is here. So I uh, hope Silver Steeler is well. We sent out a get well uh, video the other day for Silver Steeler. So I've seen him here and I think I saw a video recently. I don't think I was watching an old one. So glad to see a Silver Steeler. Hope you are on the mend. Glad to see you. And we had some people here earlier in the chat. So I hope that they pop back and so we're excited. So if you got some questions, uh, Magic 8-Ball is here. If you can ask your questions in the form of yes, no questions, that's the way to go. So let's just test the ability of the uh, predictive powers of Magic 8-Ball. So let's see what he's got. What can he pull off for us? Remember. So we've got Stack and Stormtroopers here. Well, I might show my face in the Magic 8-Ball, so it's highly reflective. So let's see. Magic 8-Ball is the card on the top. Is it a spade? Let's see what it says. You may rely on it. So let's test its ability. It's a spade. There you go. This thing is on tonight. So Magic 8-Ball is here. For those not familiar with Magic 8-Ball, he answers yes, no questions. So Silver Steeler says he is following up with the doctor in the morning and Barbara Carbone and Staffing Stormtrooper with their wrenches are in the house to keep track of everybody. David Carlisle, welcome. I saw your young grandson tooling around on his on your lawnmower. So that's great that you've got a new helper. And so Magic 8-Ball. So get your yes, no questions ready. So for instance, Magic 8-Ball is Tom Brady getting ready to win another Super Bowl victory. Let's see what he says. Cannot predict now. Oh, no. Tom Brady, maybe not this year. So anyhow, let's see. Magic 8-Ball. Michael I wants to know, some people did something. Congresswoman get deported. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Magic 8-Ball, will Michael I and I ever meet up in New Jersey? Okay, let's see. So Stacking Stormtrooper wants to know if he and Michael I are going to meet up in New Jersey. Let's see what he says. Reply hazy, try again. So maybe not. We'll have to try again later. And then Stacking Stormtrooper wants to know, will Barbara ever be on a stormy stream? Okay, well, that could be pretty stormy if, uh, if Barbara was on your stream. Uh, Terry has been on your stream. So let's see. Is Barbara going to make it? My sources say no. There you go, Stacking Stormtrooper. Does not look like Barbara Kaboon is ever going to be on one of your streams. 
So let's see. Silver Steeler is here. I think I saw um, winning image photography earlier. I'm trying to go back in time in the chat. So welcome winning image photography. Um, thank you for your 9-11 video to this, this morning. So let's see. Yep, Stack and Stormtrooper wants to prove the, the eight ball wrong, but so far it's been right. So, so think of questions, yes, no, and um, yes, no questions only, and we'll see if what people have. So how about, who else has a question? We've got Michael I in the house, Silver Steeler. Does Silver, Silver Steeler have any questions? Has he had a question yet? Well, winning image photography. Um, so let me think if I have a question. I may have a question. Winning image photographer wants to know, are the Patriots getting ready to win a Super Bowl? All right, so even with or without Tom Brady, uh, the Patriots getting ready to win a Super Bowl. Let's see what they says. Whoops. My reply is no. Wow. So not this year. Maybe they're getting ready to win a Super Bowl, but they may not get it. So anyhow, let's see what else we got going on. Who's got some questions? We've got answers. People got questions about st um, spot prices, whether you should be buying, selling, buying, but not as fast. Anything you want to know about, uh, about your purchases or maybe your upcoming coin row hunts or other things. The Hawks, as in the Seahawks, are the Seahawks going to win the Super Bowl? All right, so Don't Ask wants to know if the Seahawks are going to win the Super Bowl. Let's see how the Seahawks are slated to do it. It is decidedly so. Well, congratulations, Don't Ask. If you're into the Seahawks, you, this could be your year. So Magic 8-Ball is a Seahawk. Uh, predictor. Don't Ask wants to know if Silver is going to drop back to 14. 14. So let's see. Is Silver going to drop back to 14? And the answer is, my reply is no. So it does not look like it's going to 14. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Winning image photography wants to know, will the Lions ever win a Super Bowl? Have they ever won a Super Bowl? I don't know. Not since George Clinton was their quarterback. So let's see, will the Lions ever win a Super Bowl? And the answer is, outlook not so good. Nope, doesn't look good. That's not gonna happen. No lions. So stacking stormtrooper is mad that he did not buy on that fourteen dollar dip. So yeah, I think we're in a new floor now with silver, like nineteen or eighteen dollar floor. Um, I think I think it's eighteen and change. Uh, it had gone up to like nineteen ish. So yeah, so it looks crazy. It's quite a roller coaster ride right now. So let me ask, I'll ask a question of the folks, for anyone who happens to be in the chat, is anyone in the chat have a shipment of silver coming to the house right now and their wife doesn't know about it? Let's see, what does he say? Whoops. My sources say no. Wow, okay, so everyone has told their wife that the silver is coming. So 
that's good because you don't want a box of silver to arrive at your house and your wife not know that it's coming. So how about this? Magic 8-Ball, does Stacking Stormtrooper have silver coming to his house that his wife doesn't know about? Let's see what it says. It is certain. So yeah, there you go. Magic 8-Ball is on to you, Stacking Stormtrooper. It knows that you've got silver coming to your house and your wife doesn't know about it. So yeah, Michael I, he's in the same boat. His wife has no idea what I'm getting delivered. So same question with gold instead of silver. So on behalf of Rock and Inrod, is there anyone in the chat, Magic 8-Ball, who has gold being shipped to his house and the spouse does not know about the delivery? Let's see what it says. Better not tell you now. Yeah, the stakes are pretty high with gold. If you've got gold coming to your house and your spouse or your wife doesn't know about it, man, you're going to be in trouble. So let's see who's got a question. Don't ask a threatening magic eight ball right now. I just got gold and she had no clue. So stacking stormtrooper just had some gold delivered and his wife didn't know it. So... Yeah. So there you go. You are busted, Stormtrooper. We've got it in the live chat, and that live chat is a permanent record. A permanent record. So, let's see. Leong Anders, I paid $70 for a fine 15, 20 cent piece. What do you mean by that, uh, Leong? What, uh, What's a 20 cent piece? A fine 15, like a, a, a 15, uh, like a good number and then it's like a fine number 15. But what's a 20 cent piece? Who makes 20 cent pieces? And so Mastula says something about his first 20 cent piece. So, so stacking Stormtrooper. Let's see if we can Let's see if uh, we can ask a question on behalf of Stacking Stormtrooper. So he's saying that he offers to show his wife everything and all the coins, and she views it as my nerd collection. So let's see, is, is, stack, is Mrs. Stacking Stormtrooper ever going to see your coin collection as anything but a nerd collection? Is she always gonna view your coin collection as a nerd collection? Let's see what it says. You may rely on it. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Stacking Stormtrooper, she is always going to view your coins as a nerd collection. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, dude. So, um, so let's see. Let me ask, uh, Michael I gave me a tip recently. I haven't had a chance to act on it. I was in New York City. I wasn't able to go. And so, Magic 8-Ball, next time I'm in New York City and I'm in Koreatown, am I gonna find some half dollars that are silver? Let's see what it says. Yes, definitely. Yes. So if you're ever near Macy's in New York City, you should go to the banks in Koreatown and look for half dollars. That's an insider trip. So, so yeah, so Stacking Stormtrooper, wants to know if we're gonna meet up in New York City. So, yes. So Stacking Stormtrooper, are you and I going to meet in New York City in the near term? Let's see what it says. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, let me try it, let me reset it. Are Stacking Stormtrooper and I gonna meet up in New York City? Outlook is good. All right, should I bring my Lightsaber, my own helmet. I'm not really sure. Do I need to bring a helmet? Do I have to have a helmet? So that would be cool. So I was thinking, might be kind of fun. I'm not sure how it would work. 
But what if you got on one of those double-decker buses and took a tour of like New York City and just did a live stream as you drove around town? That might be kind of fun. I have no idea what the cost or, or how long the rides are, but that might be a cool ride. Instead of being down on the street level in Times Square, you'd be above it all. It'd be kind of cool. So, yeah, so we could be up in the, we could be up in the, uh, Stack and Stormtrooper and I can, can hang out on the sec, the upper deck of the tour bus and we can hold hands and make a video together. That would be awesome. So we're looking forward to that, no doubt. So, let's see. Yeah, because frankly, if I met up with Stacking Stormtrooper in Times Square, he'd probably be selling um, photographs of uh, himself with all the tourists. He'd, he'd be make, trying to make some extra money. So... Um, ba, 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 ba. Michael, I want to know, do you do voiceovers for the show Impractical Jokers? There's a guy in there sometimes that sounds exactly like you. I didn't know they put people with Boston accents on any kind of television. So, yeah, so I think, St will Stormtrooper wear his helmet in New York City? Let's see. So if I do a meetup, is he going to wear his helmet? Let's see what he says. Signs point to Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Stormtrooper always wears his helmet. He never takes the thing off. So, yeah, so we can ride the horses in Central Park. That'd be awesome. Sort of like when Harry met Sally, except for me and Trooper. Maybe we'll go up to the top of the Empire State Building, like Sleepers in Seattle. That would be really awesome. So, I don't know. We're going to do something. So, yeah, he did not... Uh, he didn't wear his helmet when he met Novus, so, but who knows? So that would be fun. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see what's going to happen next. Anyone else have any questions? Who's got questions? Magic 8-Ball's got answers. So while you're at it, while you're thinking about questions, hit that, hit that thumbs up button, folks. Let's give it the old thumbs up, a Rooney. So, Michael, I want to know, if it's Harry Met Sally, you have to go to Cat's Deli. Who's going to be Sally? Oh, it's Cat's Deli. I'll have what Trooper's having. <laughs> oh, goodness, that would be crazy. Yeah, Stocking Stone Trooper fakes it, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing, that's the situation. He can fake it. He's the, he's the only stormtrooper I know who fakes it. So, so anyhow, so stacking stormtrooper, good night. This is, he's actually having an early night. This is crazy. So he's not he's not he's not doing his own stream. So he's actually like logging off it before ten thirty. So good night, trooper. Thanks for showing up. Have a good one. I'll see you in the Big Apple. Now that it's like school it's a school night Stoop trooper has to go to bed he hasn't done his homework yet so he's got to go so silver stealer wants to know will silver get to 20 bucks before the end of the year will it rise to 20 before the end of the year where is silver going is it gonna go to 20. it is certain so yes silver is going to 20 before the end of the night, before the end of the calendar year. So that would be great. That would be great. So let's see. What do we got? Who's got questions? Precious metal update. Um, so he's driving and he's lurking. So yeah, don't type any more messages. Uh, precious metal update. He's driving and lurking. So, let's see, what other questions? Guido and Stormtrooper have the thing tomorrow. It's a thing by the thing. So, all right, excellent. All right, who's got, who has a question for stacking, uh, not for stacking Stormtrooper, for, for, for Magic 8-Ball? Stacking the Stormtrooper can't predict the future. He doesn't have the powers of the Force. This has the power of the dark side. 
Look at this thing. It's dark and it can predict the future. So, Stack and Stormtrooper can't predict the future. I can predict the future. Stack and Stormtrooper is not going to leave the stream. That's my prediction. No, he's not going to. He's staying. He's not going to bed. He's staying. He can't leave a stream. You have to shoot him with a with the the lightsaber. All right, good night. Now he's leaving. Okay. All right, good night, trooper. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. He wants to go, but he just can't. He can't leave. All right, at Magic Eight Ball, is stacking stormtrooper actually going to leave a live stream before it ends? It is certain. Wow, that's a stretch. I don't believe it. He's going to leave before the live stream ends? I don't believe it. I do not believe it. But the Magic 8-Ball says that he's going to leave. So, all right. Now he says he's leaving. I, I'll believe it when I see it. So, all right. Scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, and fun. He's here for the free stuff. Well, we have free advice, so we don't have any giveaways for free. We're giving away something better. Predictions for the future. Whatever you, whatever you want to know, whatever you're concerned about, your fears, your hopes, your dreams, the things you have doubts, the things that keep you awake at night, ask the Magic 8-Ball and he will tell you that you've got nothing to worry about. Potentially. He can't tell you what you want to hear. He only knows the truth and he predicts it to the best of his ability. So S, H, T, and F. Ask away, my friend. So, and anyone else who's got some questions. Scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, and fun. Am I gonna hook up with the wife tonight or what? That's his question. All right, it's a good one. It's a good question. Let's see, you, you know, I would just, my, you know, let's see what he says. It is decidedly so. So S, H, T, and F. It's going to put the fun in S, H, T, and F tonight, according to Magic 8 Ball. So yes, he's in, he's all set. So. Will Mrs. Stormy knock Buckethead out with a frying pan? A frying pan. Let's see, does she throw frying pans? Is she gonna hit him with a frying pan? I don't know, we'll see. Yes, that's a simple one, that's very direct. I think Trooper could be in trouble. So, Silver Hustling 13, welcome my friend. Will Salivate Metal introduce another cat? Has he lost his cat? So let's see. Is he gonna put another cat on screen? Let's see. Concentrate and ask again. All right. So SHTNF is excited about his answer and he's gonna give away free silver dimes if it comes true. All right, so the next time we have Magic 8 Ball, uh, SHTNF is going to be the silver giveaway sponsor and he's going to mail me some dimes. So let's see what happens. So yeah, I don't need to know the details. Just, just did it work? Did, did, it, did it happen? So don't ask once to know, will the Ford dealer find me a new truck tomorrow? So let's see what is up with that. So he's looking for a new Ford truck. Let's try that again. Let's reset that thing. Cannot predict now. Sorry about that Ford truck. And yeah. So Silver Hustling 13 wants to know if corn is gone for good. I don't know what that refers to. Gone for good. Is, is anyone ever really gone for good? So let's see what that says. Outlook good. I'm not so sure about that, my friend. We'll see what happens. So, 
Nobody knows. Magic 8-Ball thinks he knows. So, all right, so SHTNF, if you have any other uh, questions. So, we'll see what's up. So, I don't know. Um, I, what was some of the questions I was thinking of asking? So, am I going to... Let's see, so I asked earlier if, well, we got some new people in the stream that weren't here before. So Magic 8-Ball, does anyone in the stream have a delivery of silver coming that their wife doesn't know about? It is certain. Okay, follow-up question. Does Silver Heist have a delivery of silver coming that his wife doesn't know about? Outlook good. Yes, I think I'm busted. I have a 10 ounce bar coming as early as Friday and uh, I haven't told my wife about it yet. I normally do. This time I actually did not. So anyhow, yes, Barbara, that's, that's a good policy. No, definitely a good policy. So, um, so hustling, will gold see $2,000 this calendar year? Let's see, my sources say no. Well, what does that mean? Is it going to not see 2000 and go right past it? Or is it just gonna be just a little bit shy of 2000? So we'll see. Have I missed any questions? Uh, half dollar dude, should I sell my silver stack and buy a hot rod? That's always a fun one. Let's see, should you sell your silver stack and buy a hot rod? Yes. All right, what kind of hot rod, my friend? What kind of hot rod? There's all kinds of hot rods out there. Trapper Dunlap, are the 1800s $1 gold coins a good investment? $1, how big are those? $1. I've seen 250, but from like the early 1900s. So are 1800s dollar gold coins a good investment? And what is the thing? Signs point to yes. So yeah, dollar gold coins, a good investment. Oh yeah, okay, here's a good question. Let's see, um, Michael I. Will the Mint ever send me my return for the ugly Liberty Medal? It's been like three weeks. So what do you mean, your return? Are you exchanging it for cash? Like are you returning it to get your money back or are you um, returning it for a different one? So let's just ask Magic Gate Ball, is the Mint ever gonna send me the return for turning in that ugly Liberty Medal? And the answer is, oops, let's reset this thing. So return, oops, reply hazy, try again. So I don't know about the US Mint. So here's a question about, <laughs> yeah, Bob, <laughs> let's see. Uh, no one's questioning that I may have a wife Okay, well, who wants to ask the question? Uh, okay, so now Barbara, she wants to know, does Barbara have a wife? And what does Magic 8-Ball say? My reply is no. So Barbara does not have a wife. So, nope, not officially. Maybe you have like one of those, uh, what do you call those things? Um, I don't know, common law marriages, is that what they're called? Something like that. So, yeah. So that's, there you go. So here's a question. It, Magic 8-Ball, is that palladium coin that's coming out from the U.S. Mint, is that a bad idea in terms of buying it? As I see it, yes. All right, so according to Magic 8-Ball, 
the almost $2,000 palladium coin for the mint. Not a good idea right now. It's pretty, and it is a one ounce um, mercury dime type design that's made of palladium. Not a good idea at the moment. So let's see. So Michael, the first one they had had milk spots, so he sent it back for an exchange. Okay, so there you go. So I'm hoping uh, you get a thing. Um, so, all right, night, Trapper Dunlap, thanks for stopping in. So, yeah, so Silver Hustling 13, the Palladium. Palladium, not a good idea at the moment. It's almost $2,000. I don't know of any dealer who's like paying a finder's fee because there's a limit of one coin per household and they're making 30,000 units. They made 15,000, the last Palladium uh, coin. So that was kind of hot because it was the first one of its kind. And 15,000, 30,000 is quite a few. And so possibly not a good idea for a quick investment. Half dollar dude, will I find the rest of the W quarters I need for my collection? There you go. Is he gonna find some Ws? There we go. What are we thinking? As I see it, yes. So W's on their way for the half dollar dude. And don't ask wants to know, will he ever find a wife? So let's see. Will don't ask find a wife? I don't know. It depends if you're looking for a wife. So, but that's your question. Let's see what it says. My sources say no. So don't ask. I'm not sure if that's the answer you're looking for. With a name like don't ask, I'm not sure you should be asking magic eight ball questions, but feel free. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. So, um, Silver Hustlin, my LCSs don't deal with palladium because nobody comes in off the street to buy them. Probably not. It's a lot of money. Brian's World of Mechanic, will I get my Morgan CC soon? So he's looking for a Morgan CC. Is Brian's World and Mechanic going to get a CC Morgan at any time in the near future? Outlook is good. All right, congratulations, Brian's World. Coin sense and nonsense, he can't stay, but he wanted to say hi and give it a thumbs up. Yes, just a hit and run thumbs up. We take that, definitely. Let's see that thumbs up pop right up onto the thingamajig there. So cool. All right, so Brian's World is excited about his CC. That would be awesome. Yes, so that's what you need. Should I buy one of the 2021 Morgans? Those are pretty cool. The 2021 Morgans that are Carson City, maybe 2021 peace dollars, but I'm kind of excited about that. I think that'd be kind of cool. So should Half Dollar Dude buy a 2021 Morgan? Let's see what it says. Outlook not so good. I don't know. Maybe you should hold out for a real one, like a real old authentic one. That's what, that's what Magic 8-Ball might be telling you. You never know. Michael I wants to know, will he win Michael Kittle's 1909 SVBB giveaway? All right, so that's kind of cool. All right, so good night, Coin Sense and Nonsense. Take care. Thanks for stopping in. So is Michael I going to win that 1909 SVDB? That would be cool. Let's see what it says. Yes! Yes, you will, Michael I. So, but I think you should like, if you want it to come to, you should run around to all the different channels and throw in like multiple, multiple entries. I think I've thrown in a couple entries, but I've kind of lost track. I'm, I haven't really figured out who's running the thing. It's a little confusing. There's a lot of channels, but they're all chipping in for a 1909 SBBB. So that's very cool. So, um, Yes, there you go. Yes, you want a single woman for a wife. So Steve Rice is in the house. All right, let's see. Is that your question, Steve Rice? 
So he wants to know, he's waiting for a, a Barbara Kaboom video without a top. Is that ever going to happen? Will that ever happen? And the answer is without a doubt. All right, without a doubt. There's no timeline on it. But it will happen. So, you know, that's the thing. As long as you have hope and you know that it could happen and it will happen eventually, that's all you need. You don't need a timeline. You just need to know. You just gotta have faith. So that's what I'm talking about. All right, so Barbara Carbone, let's work on that thing. So, all right. Who's got questions? We've got answers. All right. Um, has it been confirmed that they're making 2021 Morgans and or Peace Dollars? So let's see. Are they going to make Carson City Morgans and Peace Dollars for 2021? Let's ask Magic 8-Ball. You may rely on it. Okay. So not only will there be more against CCs in 2021, there will be peace dollars too. So, yes. So there you go. Let's see who has a question right now. Did Barbara Carbone, I have a question. Did Barbara Carbone have a backstage pass? for the Rolling Stones concert. Cannot predict now. All right, so we don't really know if she had a backstage pass or whether she was just at the concert. So, not sure. In the old days, she would have had a backstage pass, but we're not sure about right now. So, who's got questions? Welcome, welcome Lincoln DMZ. Welcome. Let's see. Is I'll ask. Magic Eight Ball, is anyone in the chat drinking right now? My sources say no. Wow. This is quite a crowd. Not any drinkers right now. Maybe later. So, all right, well, thank you, Brian's World. That is a great compliment. Appreciate it. Will a female candidate be opposing Trump in 2020? Is there going to be a female candidate opposing Trump? As I see it, yes, that could happen. There could be a female candidate opposing Trump. And... Mountain Dew, yes, it's a stimulant. It's definitely a stimulant. And uh, lots of caffeine. Lots of caffeine. Does anyone have silver coming that their husbands don't know about? Well, let's see. It's like, yeah, you know, my husband doesn't know about the silver that's on its way. But, let me, but let's just ask about the rest of the chat. As I see it, yes. All right, so winning image photography. There is someone in the chat and there's silver arriving to the house and the husbands don't know about it yet. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. So yeah, Lincoln didn't tell his husband either. So yeah, I say, you know, why tell, you know, ask for forgiveness, not permission. That's the best policy. So, Half Dollar Dude wants to know if he should go to bed early tonight. Early to bed, early to rise. Well, let's see what Magic 8-Ball thinks. Concentrate and ask again. Unspecified. We are not sure if Half Dollar Dude should go to bed early. We don't know yet. So, all right, yes, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. It's like, Silver Steeler is the husband of winning image photography. So I'm not sure. She didn't necessarily say 
it was about her. But maybe there's a surprise. Oh, and it's someone's birthday's coming up. So Magic 8 Ball is someone's birthday coming up Tuesday. I think we already know the answer to that, but let's just find out. My sources say no. What? That's wrong. First time Magic 8 Ball's been wrong. So, all right. Yeah, way to spoil a surprise, asking Magic 8 Ball questions. So, right in front of someone else. So, yeah, I shouldn't have asked about, you know, me and Stormtrooper, like, meeting up in the Empire State Building in front of him either, but, you know, I figured, what the heck. So. All right. Um, Half Dollar Dude. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Hello, Sherry Ward. How are you tonight? We're asking yes and no questions, so I think Magic 8-Ball, I think we asked if it was going to go to 14 and it said no, and then I think someone asked if Silver was going to go to 20, and I forget what it said. I think it said yes, but then was gold going to go to 2,000? I think it said no. But that doesn't mean it could go right past 2,000. So, you never know. All right. So we're having a party Tuesday for someone's birthday. That'd be great. We can have a... We can have a... So happy birthday to Silver Steeler. So first there was get well, and now there's happy birthday. So that just awesome. There's just cards flying all around for Silver Steeler. It's just awesome. So we're very excited for you. So let's see who has questions. So what would Silver Steeler like for his birthday? Does Silver Steeler have any questions for Magic 8-Ball about potential birthday gifts from anyone, not just his, his wife. Barbara Carbone, what would you like for your birthday? Ask Magic 8-Ball about your birthday gift and if someone unspecified is going to get it for you. So, yes. Let's see. Brian's World of Mechanic. Will Silver Heist become Gold Heist? Well, you never know. That is quite possible. I have something up my sleeve with respect to that. Most likely, yes. So, all, all I can say, the one hint I can give about Gold Heist, two words, Yankee Cannon. That's all I'm going to say. Yankee Cannon. So... Stay tuned. You never know what's going to happen. So, let's see. Who's got questions? Who's got questions? Magic 8 Ball has answers. Is a 1893 SBU Morgan dollar, is that the silver gift? Is there a 1893 Morgan dollar coming on its way as a birthday gift? And the answer is, you may rely on it. Is that a cool coin? Is that something you always wanted? 1893S. I'm kind of ignorant of the cool years. S sounds kind of cool to me. I know Carson City is awesome, but I always thought the S's were awesome. So. All right, so Silver Steeler, is that true? Is he hitting 5-1? Yeah, that would be great. So, let's see. Don't ask was 55. So yeah, we've got quite the uh, over 50 club here. 
this is like the over 50 crowd. So, yeah, Brian's world. He's the young one in the house, 46. So, is Brian's world a mechanic the youngest person in the chat? Yes. That's what Magic 8-Ball thinks. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's quite possible Brian's World of Mechanic is the youngest one. And Barbara is 99 or possibly 29. So, and Michael is 39, of course. Of course, it has to be 39. So, there you go. SHTNF is 4-3. That is why he is... That's why he and Mrs. SHTNF are looking for some fun tonight. So, SHTNF, what are you still doing here? Didn't, didn't Magic 8-Ball have a, uh, a prediction for your activity for later this evening? So, it's up to you. Night's young. So, yep. So, Anyhow, let's throw out two more questions. Come up, let's come up with two more questions. We're gonna end on a high note. Who's got two questions? We got two questions to go. We'll end on a high note, and then we're gonna wrap this baby up. So, all right, so David Carlisle's out. Good night, David. He's gotta charge his phone. And I may need to, too. My phone's hanging in there for now. I don't know how it's gonna go. So let's throw out a question. Who's got one? Steve Rice, let's come up with a question and let's end on a high note. Or don't ask. All right, Michael I's got a good question. Will he find silver? in his half dollar box tomorrow. Let's see. Outlook, not so good. So sorry about that, Michael I. Maybe not silver in your half dollar box tomorrow. I've had a few skunks, it happens. So you just gotta go out and get another one. All right, one more question. Who's gonna end us on a high note? Let's end on a high note. We just got some bad news about the half dollar box hunt from Michael I. Let's end on a high note. Who's got a question? Da, 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 da. Yeah, so David is in another stream. Okay, so let's ask that. Did David leave this awesome stream to go into a different live stream? Did that happen? Because David's not here. So did David leave this stream so that he could go to a different live stream? Ask again later. I am, I'm gonna ask right now because I wanna get to the bottom of this. Did David leave this live stream to go to a different live stream? Reply Hazy, man, he doesn't know. Did David leave this live stream to go to a different live stream? You may rely on it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. David likes live streams. Don't we all love live streams though? I mean, I think that would be great. Will Steeler intercept winning image photography silver? So is, what does that mean? Is he going to peek at the gift before it's a gift? Is he like 10 years old? Does he go into the closet? Does he go into mommy's closet and peek at the gifts? All right. So will Silver Steeler peek at his wife's gift before his birthday? That's going to be our final question of the night. Is Silver Steeler going to peek at his gift before his birthday? Do, 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 do. Whoop, we gotta reset that. Let's find out. It is certain. Yes, it is certain that Silver Steeler is going to peek at his gift before his birthday. He is a bad boy. 
Silver Steeler is a bad boy and he peeks at his gifts before his birthday. So, anywho. So, all right. Well, that is it, everybody. Thank you, Michael I. Thank you, Precious Metals Update. Barbara, Armando, welcome. SHTF, he is got some big plans ahead of him this evening. Steve Rice, thanks for stopping in. Silver Steeler, happy birthday. Get well soon, stay on the right track. Good luck with the doctor tomorrow. Dave's not here. And Brian's World Mechanic, thank you, buddy. Barbara, Michael I, don't ask Steve Rice, winning image photography. Everyone who stopped in, hit the, hit the thumbs up button on the way out. And thank you, everybody. And if I can figure out how to turn this off, we're going to say good night. And we'll see you soon. So good night, everybody.